anyone, yes, anyone, that includes you watching, can get Grand Champ in 90 days. I actually made a video called Anyone Can Get Champ in 30 Days, and since it got a ton of positive feedback, I wanted to make a part two to help show you how to get to Grand Champ. So I'm gonna assume you watched that video up here first. It's now day 31 and you just promoted to champ one. This video is my ultimate protocol for how to go from champ one to grand champ one in 90 days or less. This video is split into two sections. First, I'm gonna cover three things you need to subtract from your gameplay, three things you need to stop doing once you hit champ. And then second, I'm gonna cover three things you need to add to your gameplay once you hit champ to get GC in the shortest time possible. But look, before I get into these tips, and I promise these tips are valuable and will help you, I have to be honest with you. I could give you all the best advice in the world, but if you don't understand this one thing first, none of it will matter. If you didn't know, champ is the second longest rank you're gonna be stuck at in Rocket League. And that's of course behind GC, because GC is the longest rank you'll be stuck at, assuming you're on the journey to SSL, right? But from what I've found is that there is a pretty accurate rule for how long it will take you to rank up, and that's this. Every rank you climb in Rocket League, it will take three to four times as long to get to the next rank. That means for the average viewer, expect GC to take at least 1,500 to 2,000 more hours. Look, I know this probably isn't going to get me more views telling you this, but it's the truth. And since my goal here is to actually help you rank up, you have to set your expectations properly. But the reason I'm telling you this is because the last thing I want is for you to walk away from this video and improve a ton. But for some reason, for you to think your improvement isn't good or it isn't good enough because you're comparing yourself to somebody else. All that's to say, point is, if I do my best job here, these next 10 minutes might save you tens or even hundreds of hours of improving. But at the end of the day, this is a journey and one single YouTube video can only be so good. This is why I always say three times faster than watching YouTube will always be learning one-on-one -on -one from a coach. Because when you work with a coach, they've already done all the learning for you. This way, you don't have to sift through 20 minutes of YouTube tier lists to find the 60 seconds you actually <laughs> needed. In the long run, the time saved by working with a coach will add up and your skill is gonna speed up 10X versus trying to go at it alone. Full transparency, this is why I launched a coaching company two years ago. Because even after a year of making Rocket League videos, I realized quick that YouTube was not truly the best way. Please know that supporting my free content means the world to me, and it is always more than enough. But if you are watching and have been on the fence about coaching, I genuinely couldn't be more excited for this video to go public because as of the date this video releases, I will be officially stepping down from being a coach and my team is officially launching a new coaching company called the Grand Champ Bootcamp. The GCB is an accelerated group training camp designed to take gold through champ ranked players like you watching up to GC in 90 days or less. With a team of SSL and pro coaches, they provide you with a fully personalized plan to meet and exceed your ranked goals in record time. The bootcamp includes live events, one-to-one -one sessions, weekly assignments, video lessons, and most importantly, a community of over 2,800 like-minded players that are already registered and you'll be connected with immediately upon joining. All the boring ad read stuff aside, I personally promise you that if your goal is to rank up in Rocket League, this is the fastest, most fun, and most effective way you can rank up and improve in this game. So if you're tired of being hard stuck or you're just sick of having to rank up alone, DM my coaching account on Discord with the keyword GCB for coaching.
I'll have my Discord first link in the description below. That's GCB and back to the content. Okay, now that you have your expectations set properly, let's cover tactics. Three things you need to subtract from your gameplay. Number one, the first thing you need to remove once you hit champ one is quick chats. This might not be what you're expecting, but hear me out. Turning on quick chats is a lot like checking Instagram or Twitter. You think it'll be good to talk to people, but the truth is the type of people that you're gonna find on Twitter or in the Rocket League quick chat are just not the type you wanna talk to. The problem is 90% of the time, just like with Twitter, quick chats are just a place that people go to vent. And the last thing you need while playing ranked Rocket League is another reason to be tilted. So do yourself a favor, turn off quick chats and life will be good. Number two, second thing you need to stop doing once you get to champ one is free play. I'm gonna be the first Rocket League YouTuber to tell you to stop doing free play, but hear me out. Think to the last time you went into free play. Did you go into free play and 10 minutes later, walk away feeling faster, more improved, or that you learned something new? Or did you go into free play and 10 minutes later, you realized 10 minutes went by because you were just mindlessly air dribbling? The point is free play is good. There is a benefit, but there are things that are even better. And that's what we're going to talk about later. And number three, last thing you need to subtract from your gameplay, booming the ball away. You see, now that you're in champ, you understand that it's going to be harder to rank up. And so the thing that got you to this rank is probably not going to be the thing that gets you to the next one. Here's my point. At the low ranks, you know, think silver, gold, platinum. In order to rank up, you simply need to hit the ball hard. And so against bad defenders, you're going to get rewarded for simply hitting the ball hard and booming it away. As you climb higher, though, you're going to start to notice that if you just just boom the ball away, your opponents are going to save it and then they're just going to get free possession to go attack you. So now that you're in champ, I need you to understand the game isn't so black and white and you can't just hit the ball hard and expect good things to happen. But step one, you need to pay attention to what you're doing with the ball and 90% of the time, unless you're knocking it over a defender, stop booming the ball away. It's not going to fly now that you're in champ. Okay, three things to add to your gameplay. What should you be training? Number one, now that you're in champ, you need to start training catches. The common problem I see for most champ ones and champ twos is they know they need to control the ball, but they just don't know how. The secret to controlling the ball and being able to make champ players look like champ players is being able to make controlled catches and take advantage of players below GC who are just booming the ball away. I have a dribbling tutorial that goes over my system for how I train catches and how I train dribbling. But at base level, you need to make sure that you can catch the ball while defending, while going forwards, while going backwards, and even off of your backboard. If you can do this, you will have a massive advantage on everyone below GC. Number two, second thing you need to start doing in champ is shadow defending. Below champ, most attackers just won't have the mechanics to be able to dribble and flick on you consistently. But once you get into champ, if you are not a lock, on shadow defense, you will get hard stuck. Going back post is nice, but the higher rank you get and the faster paced your lobbies become, the less you're going to have the luxury of just always being able to go back post and make easy saves. If you want to get out of champ the fastest, I highly recommend you start queuing 1v1, not even to rank up, but just so that you can practice shadow defense. Finally, number three, the last and most important thing you can add to rank up faster once you hit champ is a teammate. The truth is, if I can only give you one thing that will help you improve faster than anything else, it would be a teammate. Below champ, teammates are virtually pointless. Not because it's not fun to have a teammate, but just because when you're below champ, even if somebody tells you what they're gonna do, it doesn't really help because you can't actually count on them to do it. However, once you get to champ, teammates become actually useful. So if you can just 
add a teammate, at least from what I've seen coaching players, you can expect your MMR to go up 50 to 150 by simply improving chemistry and getting rid of double commits that plague solo queue. In the end, that's going from champ one to champ two, champ two to champ three, or champ three to GC just from one change. Honestly, I don't know if there's any other change you could make that would get you as much MMR. Now I get it. The hardest part about all of this is that finding reliable teammates is hard. The reason I bring this up is because what a lot of people who watch my YouTube videos don't realize is that I actually run a free Rocket League Discord server and we're the largest hub for finding teammates in the game. And it's completely free to join and you can always leave whenever you want. But if you don't currently have a teammate, I don't think there's a better place. So shamelessly, because I genuinely think this will help you, I'll have my Discord first link down below. But as a bonus, for those of you who made it to this video, I wanna share what I've seen is the best way to train once you get to champ. I know I told you earlier that you shouldn't be doing free play. And the reason is because the fastest improving players in my coaching program, which is mainly diamond and champ rank players at this point, say they haven't benefited most from free play, but instead from two workshop maps. Now, I know not everybody has access to workshop maps, so I'll give you some substitutes in a second, but the fastest improving players in my coaching program say they've benefited from number one, Lethemir's Rings, and number two, Dribble Challenge 2 or Dribble 2 Overhaul, it's now called. The reason these workshop maps are so game-changing once you hit champ is because they train two key mechanics that most champ players lack and you need to get to GC. Those two mechanics are number one, air roll, and number two, power slide. Mastering air roll or mastering power slide completely unlock your car control. And if you can even just get one of these mechanics down, you will simply be too fast for champ lobbies. The problem is because air roll and power slide are so hard to train, most people completely ignore it. And so if you just train these two things, and if you specifically do those two workshop maps, it will be unreasonable for you to not improve. Okay, I know I haven't explained a lot of specific mechanics in this video, and I shared more high level tactics, because the truth is, if we're talking about how you're gonna get to grand champ, this stuff is what's actually Hard. Look, I have tons of videos that I'll link on screen in a second about mechanics and game sense and strategy and replay analysis and all the nitty gritty tactical stuff. But high level, the stuff that I went over in this video are the true things that keep most people stuck below GC and that if you can fix, will save you hundreds of hours on your gameplay. So if you want more tactical stuff, I'm gonna put my ultimate mechanics tier list here. And if you're on console, I'm gonna put my top free play drills here that you guys can go train specifically after you watch this. But even though this video was a little different, I hope in the end you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.